What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Twin Turbo. Today, we are doing a preventative disaster install, I would say. But uh, it also looks cool. It's called the NGI Performance Vanity Covers. Thank you, Nick, for sending me these covers and providing me a small discount. But good news is he's cool, and he gave me a discount code for you guys to use for NGI Performance. So check these guys out, man. Come down in the description below. But the code, use code Twin Turbo. It's gonna get you ten dollars off. So man, you know, like look at it as free shipping. However you want to look at it, I don't care. But uh, we're going in the right direction, right? And thank you, Nick, for for doing that for everybody. That's super cool of you, man. I haven't seen a video on YouTube showing how to install these yet. So I'm heading to the park right now for some peace and quiet to install the NGI Performance. Vanity it looks like a very simple install. I just brought a couple sockets with me. So, you know, I can do this in the park. It's that easy. It's gonna be sick, so stay tuned. Well, I think this is a uh, pretty peace and quiet. There's a lot of people at the park, but no one ever comes over in this area. It's kind of like an old military quarters around here. This is a very heavy military area, the Fort Harrison Park in Indianapolis. So yeah, guys, I wanted to leave some water spots on here. I started cleaning it and I'm like, you know what? This will be a good example. I did clean that side off, but I left some on top of the JB4 just to show you. Like you can see the water spots, not good. So. That's my main concern. And obviously this looks super ugly with uh, the lit kit, excess power wire, everything that just, it just doesn't look uh, very clean. So two in one, we're protecting this and we are going to make it look more streamlined with that beautiful matte powder coat black finish across that metal in these corners here. So let's get busy. I'm gonna start with the easy side first to build a little confidence here because it looks like it's just three bolts and we're gonna put them back in place okay guys so you're gonna have you're gonna have these two brackets here um, and then you're gonna have these these push pins here um, let's see we're in the lobby. it's feeling real obby outside um, set that oh looks like that goes under there so this one okay so when you when you set this on here uh you do got to kind of push down a little bit right here where this harness is but that's actually a good thing because it brings this one up and it creates a nice a nice amount of tension plus stuff could still kind of run off there it looks like so this this looks good i'm going to start by recommending that you start with this one first then just kind of push down on this one again we're just using the factory push pins and they'll They'll still snap. Yeah, we'll clean that up, but driver's side is done. Yeah, nice clean look for sure. Oh yeah, very nice. Nice job, Nick. You got that perfect. All right, so it's time for the passenger side. So again, guys, I'm going to be doing the wiretap kit for the power source for the lit kit. But until then, this is just another reason I want to cover this up because it looks hideous with all those wires down there. And then, you know, of course, we got our, our JB4 with water spots on it. Okay, so I got to hurry up and I didn't really dress. I probably should have worn my camo coat because... <laughs> Now there's some instructions we have to read. For the new install part, start with the larger bracket, okay? Let's go with the larger bracket. The larger bolt, 12 mil bolt. The larger one would, would have been this one, and this is the larger bracket. Now in the photo, kind of looks like it's heading this way, but not gonna tighten this down all the way just yet. Let's go here. It kind of looked like that. So let's see if I'm right. Now that just leaves us with the smaller bracket and the 10 mil. That actually appears to be facing out this way. So now what I want to do is just grab my cover and see if this lines up. Yes, guys, we did it. We did it right. Uh, 
However, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that other push pin over there. This is a very easy install. However, there are instructions, of course. Now install the smaller bracket in front of the washer fluid cap. Keep it parallel with the channel. When they say keep it parallel with the channel, guys, they're meaning this piece here. I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, guys, so again, we just I just lined them up and uh, now I have to tighten this down. The windshield wiper bracket, I did actually, it's perfect, sweet. Did tighten it down all the way. There's still an opening over here, guys. So that's just one other reason. The JB4 is covered. This is why the Velocity Tech needs to come with the fuse tap kit. Cause now I'm gonna have to remove all this. Let me show you guys real quick. So I'm gonna reroute. I don't like the wires being pinched over there. So I have to do something about that. Yeah, this is still an opening over here. So if you are running that excess, that switch that comes with the lit kit, either move it under here and relocate it or do the wire tap kit. That's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna have to remove all this again and I'm gonna do some better wire management with the JB4. I think I'm gonna see if I can remove these two clips and run those wires underneath there and tuck them up underneath the side here. I think that'll be the cleanest option since the Stinger looks so clean now with these covers. I mean, look at that. That's fire. This is a build. Like I said, wire management's coming. We'll be uh, fixing that up, making it look even cleaner. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this. So go ahead and hit that sub, like, comment, code twin turbo for $10 off. Basically like getting free shipping, right? All right guys, as always, man, it's been fun driving. I'll catch you later. Uh, peace.